Denmark. Starting at right back and will have a big role to play in defense as well. Marking that man, Miguel Hansen, get the opening goal. Ball across the Sarmiento, the pass to the... The hand is up for passive play. Hansen to Gietzel. Looking for that opener, that's going to be a penalty and a late challenge. Two knew exactly what he was doing. Gietzel had his man beat. Makeda for the penalty to be taken by Miguel Hansen. First goal of the game after two and a half minutes goes to Miguel Hansen. And at the moment as they play 6v6 in attack and Gerbindo left on the suspension. And this is Miguel Hansen's bread and butter. With a man-up situation, and as soon as I say this has been the problem area for this team. Can they find a solution? Ball into the line. Oh, that's a spin wide to the right. Challenge for that ball. And Matthias Gitzel making decisions like that. You can see there was the collision in mid-air. Best of championships on the line. He can be more consistent. And that's it. Finds the line, oh it slips through the hands and a chance to break now for Spain. This is their bread and butter on the counter-attack, that's much easier. And you can see Denmark trying to force the passes and that's why the passes are a bit off at the moment. But that's much better and Miguel Hansen with his second of the day finds that one in at the near post. Denmark to break on the second wave, Begitzel across to Lauga, Rasmus Lauga. Oh! Darmianto takes it over the halfway line, into the line. Oh, oh goodness me. It was amazing. There was a fairly straightforward one, first of all, by Landin. This one. Which I think was wonderful as well. Many more to come, undoubtedly. That one. And the switch brings Casado into the center. He's afforded a little bit of space as he plays the ball in his way around. Into the centre, ball into Saugstrup, saved again. Still just three goals scored. Hard to know which team that suits better. We'll find out as the game goes on. Makeda. Casado. Oh, just get Lauga down the other end. Immediately replies. Sack to Makeda. Sarmiento again looking to play with the defence. They do exactly that. It's a good save. Just kept. We find up. Honest Landin rather. Hansen back in now, he's still in the centre at the moment, plays it back in, into the line, Saugstrup, and this time, time moving the ball nicely, drawing in the two defenders, but keeping the arm free for the pass immediately, Sarmiento, Makeda, Makeda goes alone, but that's a Porsche, and Denmark have to get motoring here, a shot over the top, leaves it on the right hand side, Makeda looking for space down the centre, that's much better, that's more like Jorge Makeda, eight metres before taking the shot, before taking the shot. And an immediate response from Matthias Gietzel, and that gets the crowd going. Uh, Matthias Gietzel for the first time today, left winning quarter of the match, and two of them immediately. Casado, that one off the post again. Mensa, Gietzel, Hansen out to the wing, plenty of space for the shot, and there's the goal. Keda, he has to try again on the left hand side this time. Ball spill with Patinia in the center. Nice ball behind the back, and that's. We'll see how Spain responds to that timeout. Gives them some inspiration. Canelas breaks through, and again, Nicholas Landin. Just. And when you have that two meter tall, 100 kilogram Nicholas Landin out on top of you, all of a sudden, it's a scary prospect. But is it a scary deal right now? But that's the challenge they're facing. And at the. Casado. Comes back into the centre. Augustin Casado finds some space for himself. What a shot! Casado lets that one. And I think, unfortunately for him, though, he also gets a two minute suspension. Space for himself and for his teammates. Gietzel into Saugstrup. Oh, that's a good save down low. Well read by Perez de Vargas. He's had a few quiet minutes. Go to Makeda. Good movement in the backcourt there. High challenge, overlap opportunity down the right hand side. And Avenue. And now from the penalty, Alex Gomez rockets that one off the post. And somehow Landin keeps it from coming out. <laughs> Hansen looks to go alone. Hansen finds the space, adjusts, composes himself, and finds the bottom right. Keda put some speed into the play. That's where they found success before. That's a nice spin pass to the defense. Nice move there by Jorge Makeda. Mensa. Again out to the wing, Lasses Vaughn for the first time today. Introduced him as, and he shows it. With every game he plays, ball out to the other right wing, and they're lefty from moments ago. 
simple creating of the space on the overlap. Hansen, hand up for passive play. Giesel again. Over to Mensa. And save that. Caneas. Makeda. Casado. Casado blocked down and kept in play by Angel Fernandez. What a great break for him. Spain looking to put a bit of pressure on here. They're not going to sit back and wait for Hansen to do his thing. Although on that occasion, that's ex and it's a two-minute suspension for Nicholas Landy. Alex Gomez missed the last one. Now he faces Kevin Muller. And this time he makes the... Although the fans couldn't look, he found a way past Muller. Slow things down as well. They are a man down, so they're not going to give the ball away simply. Gietzel on the left-hand side now. Ball into Hansen. Great pass into the line. Magnus... That line player can see the difference in the speed of the play with that possession. Oh, yes, that's good. Joachim draws in the defense, realizes no one's actually going to come out. Please do to stay in the game as we approach half time. Three minutes left until the break. Ball out to the wing to Landine. That's a good finish again. As soon as he was held, he saw the space out in the wing. The pass took its time. Magnus Landine. The, uh, the attackers are almost as bad at holding on to the defenders as vice versa. Kineas again, follow Kamp. All across the Gietzel, to the wing, to Lassesvan, through the legs of the keeper. This is the last minute. Kineas. Tarafeta across to Makeda, out to the wing. Gomez is good from this position. Didn't have a huge angle, but enough. Two line players again, no goalkeeper at home, so they have to be careful, but there's an empty net to shoot into now, and it's put in the back of... And Miguel Hansen now, stepping up to nine metres, he's done this before, and he don't hope it up. And pull off in the court in that first half, they know they need to preserve energy against this Danish team. Tough injury last season, shot from Giesel, saved and kept him. Matthias Giesel, with a rare miss. How rare, you ask? Well, he missed a miss. And down the other end. Here against Spain, it's a whole different type of challenge. Against a team, Eda, back to Ian Tarafeda. Benelias. Benelias going for it again. That's blocking him well whenever he's been on court. Lauga, wow, where was the end? Something had to be done. He found the back of the net for the first time today in the second half. Top scorer by a bit. Oh, and that's great. And somehow kept for Spain to deal with. Jakob Holm. Hoff skipping and jumping versus Perez de Vargas. Hansen. Oh, Hansen. Look at that again. He hops up. As soon as he's down, he's just been a weekend. That's a good save down. Men are dangerous. Tarafeda with the shot from outside. Really in the center. He offers a different proposition, that's for sure. But that shot was a bit more solid in the center of that defense. Ball across to the wing. Not a great angle. Oh, it doesn't matter. Alish Gomez with a beauty from the right way. Well, I'm looking to take them on again. Ball out to Hansen. That's better. They have to take the players on, then move the ball on. Out to the wing. It was a good pass and even better going. Decent angle there for Lassesvan, but there is the ball. Plays it off to Makeda, looking for the space. Canelas runs into trouble, tries to find the wing. It's still in play somehow. <laughs> it's put in again. Up the loose ball. Gets goal number eight. And a save down low, another miss for Giesel. His team. Canelias from long run. Seems to be able to do it for Spain today. Goal number four for him. And against Perez de Vargas, how will he do? Against Corrales, makes it three. Cuts inside one way, down the other. Ball out to the wing, is cut out, but illegally. Comes off the foot. Your replay shows. Looks like it came off his knee. The goalkeeper on the bench at six on five at the moment. For Spain in attack. Oh, squeeze that. Dean. Giesel. The space for him here. And that's a good finish. Really. El Sanchez Miguel. There was the breakthrough, first of all. Really good. Six. Giesel play, but it's an empty net. Not getting back quickly enough. And it was like a few free throws, though. 20 seconds left and their suspension. Yeah, come on. Two players to take something really positive from that match. Ball across into the wing and Spain beginning to click properly in attack now. 
Spain, exactly where they want to be. They have pulled it out of the bag on a few occasions in this competition so far. And that got a big chunk of help there. And now he's win for Denmark. And he can do better. Overlap down the left-hand side. Emil Jakobsen off the pump. Matthias Gietzel was one of them. Emil Jakobsen was another one. While in this championship, there were a few men who could consider themselves Mr. 100% when it came to... Ball behind the back. Of the that was a fantastic... And then Mikkel Hansen will take over in the centre. And Mikkel Hansen, well, that's a great response. Will the goalkeeper get back in time? It doesn't really matter. Multi line the ball moving ball is a poor one though and a chance now for Denmark to break a rare fast break opportunity Seaman Hell will he there have been very few counter-attacking opportunities for he go alone no he lays it off that was the right decision or was it it was a save again into the center and is up for passive play now oh the space oh what a good save down low it's going to be a penalty for inside defending and a bit of luck there for Makeda who's really for goal number 10, yes. and he delivers. Has a moment to pause and take it all in after the... Just over 10 minutes left to deliver the victory. Hitzel. Ball to Lauga, out to the wing again. This time it is Landin, and this time it's a penalty on a two minutes. Argas. Hansen. Shouldn't have been anywhere near that position. Here we go again. Makeda, and yes! Oh, that top. Hansen, this time goes around, plays it back across, but it's stolen, and away goes Alex Gomez to give Spain a three goal lead, and he does exactly that. It's another brilliant steal. He catches Miguel Hansen. Miguel Hansen. This time, a much simpler pass into the line. And Magnus Saustrup. With goal number three. They've done it all before. Can they find a way into this one? Final five minutes. Hansen out to the wing. Swan doesn't fancy it. Dietzel. Hansen. Lauga has space on the left-hand side. Plays it out to the wing. And it's wide to the right. Completely wide of the post. Magnus Landin had his near post. Lauga. Not what you expect from these players. Three clear misses or saves from the left wing they have to bring them back in or Hansen will go alone crashes that one off the crossbar four Danish players come times from Denmark not score here and still have a chance to come into this one Giesel ball across the Lauga out to the wing this time it's put away that's much better and you have to say fair juice to Magnus Landin Landin has over the years and we have to produce a few here Ball between the legs, and there's no save there. Line player, Adrian Figueroa. Great. And look very confident. Gietzel. Hansen. Save down low. And there's an empty net to shoot in. 2016 in Poland to Germany. And we'll be back again here in Hungary at the moment. It's looking damn good. And it's freedom on the line again. 7 v 6 for Denmark, which looks so, so good isn't producing anything ball out to the wing landine again while well, he's producing two in a row three goal game three minutes left and they've taken that chance with both hands ball into the line again this time. another goal will definitely do it ball out to the wing is it this man over to give hansen ball into the line the held Two goal game, 90 seconds left on the clock. Great pass. Clock stops and we're back underway. One minute left now. And there's a breakthrough and there's a goal. Oh, it are going through to the final for the fourth time in a row. Ball out to the wing. Saved by Gonzalo. Against the odds, pull off big nights like this in Europe. It's phenomenal. And it's Kaneas going for another one. Seven goals. He's got the biggest smile on his face I've ever seen. Turn this one around. For 25 minutes, they look the second. Spain grabbed the opportunity. They dragged themselves.